So today we are going to do the, the lab on conservation of momentum. Now in this lab, as you can see, we need to set up the track as before, level it completely, and then we have to use two cards, the red and the blue, placed as shown here. Now, remember to keep the cards in such a way that they move in the direction of the arrow. So the red one is on the left side and the blue one is on the right side. Remember to turn on the cards, open the software capstone, and there are three parts in this lab. In the first part, we are using the magnetic bumpers. As you can see, these are the magnetic bumpers already connected on both, so they are kept with the bumpers facing each other. So the first part is elastic collision. In this part, the blue cart is kept in the middle of the track at rest. And after hitting record on the capstone software, the red cart is gently moved towards the blue cart. That is an elastic collision. We need to repeat this three times. In the second trial, get this 250 gram mass, which is in your packet, and place it on the blue card. Once again, repeat the same thing as before. Leave the blue card at rest in the middle of the track and move the red card Again, remember to hit the record on the capstone and move the red card towards the blue. And that is a collision. Now the third time, take the other 250 gram and place that also on the blue card. So now the total mass on the, of the blue card is 750 grams. Because we have assumed that the mass of the cart, each cart is 250 grams. So you got 250 as the mass of the cart and 500 on top of that, which makes it 750 grams. So that's how we do the first part of the lab. In order to do the second part of the lab, take off the 250 grams, we will need them later. Swap the red and the blue. So take the red card and place it on the uh, right side and the blue card on the left side in such a way that the Velcros are now facing each other. So for both of them, the Velcros must be facing each other. So that's how they are kept. You need to change their positions and the Velcros are facing each other. Also make sure that this plunger is completely inside. Just, all right, it should be in level with the card. So make sure that happens uh, for both of them. So press this, push it all the way in, make sure that it's leveled. So in this case, once again, we're gonna do the same three uh, trials as before. But this time, the red card is kept in the middle and it's stationary. And you move the blue card towards the red one. Remember to turn on or hit the record on the capstone. And there, they stick together after collision. That is a perfectly inelastic collision. Once again, repeat this with uh, the 250 gram card masses added on to the red card. So this time you are adding the masses onto the red card. So keep it there. So that's the second trial with the single 250 on that. And then once again, do the third one with the, with both of the 250s on the red one. Uh, make sure the red one is stationary. 
for which you'll have to level the tra trap like that. So those are the three trials for inelastic collision. Now, for the third part, which is the explosion part, we have to use the plungers. So once again, remove the uh, weights. And you see, the, this is the plunger. Now set the cards in such a way that the plungers are facing left. For both of them, the plungers must be facing left. So this time set the red card on the left side of the track. And it's the plunger for the blue one and the blue card on the right side. So what you have to do now is press the plunger until you hear two clicks. One, two. Okay, so something like that. So that part is what is protruding now. And then place this touching the red card, touching the red card, hit the record and gently press the plunger. There, that's the explosion. That's what we're looking for. Once again, we have to repeat this, placing the 250 grams uh, on the blue card now. So the idea is you load the masses on the card, which is on the right side. That is the idea. So this time it's going to be on the blue one. Once again, repeat this three times. That is the last. So I just want to show you how to set it up. Click open, capstone and uh, you go to hardware setup, click on that. Make sure that the power buttons of the blue and red cards are switched on. You will see them there. Click on each one. First, I'm clicking on the red one. And then you see the sensors come up. Uh, we only need the position sensor so the other three can be turned off. And then do the same for the blue one. Click on that. Turn off the other three sensors. Go back and click on hardware setup. So that goes off. Click on the sensor data. You get this graph. But now click on the left side and change that to velocity of the red. Now we need to add a Y axis. So you see that, so click on that and add the Y. Of the track motionless while hold the red card, hit record, begins to roll. Now you can see the Y axis on the right side which shows the velocity of the blue. And uh, go to the coordinates tool Pick the first one, multi-coordinates tool, and you can click and drag that to the point just before the collision. It's not that point, you have to move it to the right. Do that for both the blue and the red. So move that to the right to get to that point just before the collision. Okay, that is the point. And just the blue so that you pick the velocities at the same time. So that's just before collision. And now we need to get the velocities just after the collision. All right, so you see those velocities, that's, those are the ones before the collision. Once again, use the coordinates tool. Click and drag that to the point just after the collision. That's the red one. You see the velocity. And do the same for the blue one. So now you have the velocities after collision. So once again, it should be at the same time, right after the collision. So you can move the graph so you can see uh, the four velocities, two before and two after collision, and we can use that for 
calculation of momentum. The rest of uh, the calculations, uh, you know, is given in the document. What we need is the velocity in each case. We need the velocities before and after the collision. And then we can calculate the momentum of each one because we know momentum is mass times velocity. So you can calculate the total momentum before collision and the total momentum after collision. And according to the law of conservation of momentum, these two must be the same within experimental error. So that is how we prove the law of conservation of momentum. Thank you.